hi everyone welcome back in the laravel api third video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to make a get api with the fetching of data of the uh, database so these are the points that we are going to cover in this video so first is the uh sorry uh, first one is to we will make a database configuration then we will check the database like the table and table name and all these things and then we will make a model get the data from the database and test it on the api so it will be gonna uh, fun and a uh, very simple also so now let's get start so first of all i'm going to show you my database so just open the php my admin and this is a user a uh, simple database name and i have a table with the users name there is a uh, three users and we will fetch these three users through the api okay so now just op go to the uh your application and first of all uh, uh what we need to we need to make a model so by default laravel give a model with the name of user so you will see inside the uh app folder users.php this is the model there you can see that it's inheriting the model but if you want to use yours then you can delete it simply and you can make it new and with this you will know how to make the controller with the command line model with the command line also so just write here php artisan and model name make model and model name is user uh, be careful with the thing that uh, your model name should be singular of your uh, table name so there's a users table so your model name should be users so it will be the oh we can say that the recommendation by the laravel so just hit the enter and you can see that we got the model again here okay so now we have to import it inside the uh our controller so in the last video we will make the controller if you don't uh, watch our previous video you can watch our watch this also so i'm just going to open the basic this is our controller name so here i'm going to import this like the use app and the user nice so now what i'm going to do i uh, have yeah, one more thing that we actually forget we have to uh use the uh, we have to open the dot env file to configure uh, to set the configuration of database so first of all we have to provide the database name this is the simple as you seen in the database here it is okay and after that you can provide the username and my username is the root and in your case it could be anything else and my password is red hat at the rate one two three okay so in maybe in your case it will be null or blank also so now the configuration is ready you can see that and the database is checked model is ready now uh, we fetch the model inside our controller also so what i'm just going to do i am just going to return it here simply so just going to write user scope resolution method with the all and the all means that it will fetch the old data old data means the three result of from here okay so with that uh this is also ready now just go to the postman and this is our postman just hit try to hit this and you can see that we got the three results here all right so uh, let's say if you want to fetch only one results then you can find here find and pass the id here then you can see that you will get only one result and with the id 2 you will get the result of the second id okay so this is the api result so now uh if you want to change the uh, uh, there is a different table name and with the uh, this is not matching with the your controller name then what you can do and how you can handle so let's say uh, i have the table name uh, let's change it so with the users to users uh, data let's say and let's copy it and save it then if you will try to find this then it will be uh, 
uh, it will tell that the database the table is not find the reason being because the user dot php model is always trying to fetch the users table so for that there is a uh, property which is given by the laravel there you can uh, use the protected dollar table name so just simply use pro protected dollar table and in the table you can simply write here your table name and my table name is this and now let's try and now you can see that we got the data here with the c is with this name also so this is a simple tutorial about how we can fetch the database from uh, uh, data from the database in the get api so if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video thanks guys thanks for watching this